Warning, please do not attempt to perform any of the stunts or activities in this movie, as they are dangerous and can lead to a serious crime. Mild or profanity language will not be present as in the making of this video. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hello everyone, Pennywise1281, back for another episode of Knuckles the Echidna, an official Sonic spin-off movie. So it's been a long time ever since I made a video, I suggest to make another video of Knuckles the Echidna. It was so much fun ever since I voiced the character of Knuckles in the last episode, but during the campaign, Knuckles the Echidna was the very greatest character of all time, and I love Knuckles. So I should just voice the cast of Julian Daniels, Cindy Robinson, Jim Parsons, Eric Bana, Alec Baldwin, Trust McNeil, Seth Rogen, Taka Sumter, and Devoyne McDonald, the voice of the Fury Fox. And I went over some bunch of characters based on the Chippendale Rescue Rangers characters. I went over one of these characters, but I suggest that this wasn't a very good idea, including Knuckles the Echidna, Cindy Robinson as Kiwi, Jim Parsons as Ray the Fine Squirrel, Gadget, even Monterey Jack, Zipper, and all the other characters. But, we're about to show you some interesting things I wanted to show you that we're going to go with the scenes of devices. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So, first things first. We have this interesting deleted scene ever been reduced. A Studio Ghibli parody based on the other Japanese cartoon series. So what I'm featuring is Knuckles the Echidna staring at the grass. Wondering where Ponyo, the character of as a fish, mentioned that there was a shiny shoe on the back of the bottom. It's also mentioned that this was a fact that there was a box art version of Knuckles, but this was the campaign on my decision that this was the original Knuckles. Anyways, moving on forward, there are a lot of deleted scenes I had to discuss now. So I clearly went over Studio Ghibli, so let's move on to some interesting deleted scenes. I had never made it into the first place of this movie. Making the movie in 2025, including Marble Garden Zone, aka Chippendale, is Knuckles the Echidna, even though Ray the Flying Squirrel was briefly mentioned during the movie, I thought it was a great idea to include him, but I replaced him with Mighty the Armadillo to betray the voice for um, Jim Parsons, the DreamWorks home series from O. But not only that, Ray the Flying Squirrel also appears in the next scene, including Knuckles the Echidna wearing a dress, becoming the Sleeping Beauty Cinderella Princess. They got arrested, but not only Knuckles, because all the characters thought they didn't have permission to get in there. So they sneak up, thought Knuckles was going to get the treasure. On time. So they got sent to Fury Fox, the Tower of Fury. That's the main part we're going to go with. Not until later, but we'll discuss some interesting more decisions to go with. Okay, now the first things first is the Flintstones. I'm pretty sure that Knuckles tickles... A lot of girls, not only men, because he broke the fourth wall ever since he got nervous during that last shot. So Knuckles the Echidna thought he was that grumpy. And his favorite quote every time he tickles, Hold still, chicken! Or this one appears in the wood zone, as well as Chippendale Rescue Rangers, that Ray the Flying Squirrel was involved for Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Knuckles the Echidna, 2025. So, after I scrapped these two characters, I decided to introduce some interesting ones where I fought for Knuckles the Echidna's bootleg form, including Sonic.exe with the yellow pimples, the body of Mindy from SpongeBob SquarePants Movie 04, Super Mario's arm on the left, and on the right is Dr. Eggman's arm. Martin McFly has a pair of jeans on the bottom, and Arl's boots from Puyo Puyo. Also, I want to mention there's a Super Famicom logo on the bottom left. If you can't see, it, they're obscured by stars. So we clearly went some interesting scenes. So let's go for the other scenes I had to discuss with. This is not only deleted scenes, but some inspired deleted scenes, including other real scenes I'm including in the movie. Is Sheila the cow? 
Also, this is a brief mention, reminiscing as a cow in the farm. If you see in the background, it's pretty obscure to see in the meadow that there's a barn. But it's clearly tucked out from the shadow of Cowboy's hat and knuckles. On the fence, it resembles Napoleon Dynamite's house apartment. On the farm, as usual. So, we went to underwater, meeting the Queen, including the Queen of Nausea. It, it's of course Knuckles' grandma, presumably going underwater. Who couldn't ever forget about the time they ever went underwater? Especially when Knuckles can't swim, he can immediately drown. So he had to use a bubble. So he met his queen, and then he noticed the, the call for help. So after that, they had a refreshment. So, we moved on to another movie working scene on the Knuckles movie. Princess Violet and Felix the Cat. A little nervous about Knuckles' reaction, there's a sweat on his hat. We're going to sing three of Sonic's item box on the water shield and a bunch of letters on the textures on the banner from based on Knuckles Chaotix. Of course, this is a movie I would ever see in 2025, you guys. This is the most movie I would ever make that long. Even two hours. Especially King Kong. Whatever that is. Okay, I have another disgusting for that. Ugh, I gotta go with the train. Of course, it's the train cameo I have to uh, include in the Knuckles movie. It's of course in reality. So of course there's a lot of things going on. The Fury Fox. The Tower of Fury. Right, the Flying Squirrel got captured, tortured, as well as Clady, the chicken. Also reminiscing Chicken Little, as well as the human size of Lady's Clid Chicken, as also briefly mentioned. There's also some interesting cameo characters, including the other characters based on their own studios. But there are also some interesting cameos in the movie, including Genial from Super Mario RPG, voice as Lovell Station, or uh, I mean Logan 30 Acre from the creator of SML, as well as Lovin Station as Mello from Mario RPG, of course. DreamWorks Lucy Tucci also makes a brief appearance, being tickle tortured, of course. I always love that joke. Trump, trust me, trust me. You will never think about that time you ever do. Anyways, we let's not forget about the time we had a cameo about Knuckles Chaotix, a reference to the Ring Star. We also had SBO racing against Knuckles in the DS Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. This is a reminiscence of a ripoff to the Ring Star's Knuckles Chaotix Ring Star as the original title for Knuckles Chaotix. But during that campaign, it was scrapped and was changed to Chaotix. But that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss a new video. Also be sure to follow me on Pinterest and Twitter. Until next time, take care.